hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c to the power of 3 over 2 equals to 5 to the power of 3 over 2 and we solve this problem for all the values of c and now uh, here the very first thing we are going to do is uh, so first we need to uh, eliminate uh, these two on both of the sides so uh, it means that in order to elimination of these two we need to uh, taking the square on both of the sides so i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section now uh, here uh, we move uh, to taking the squaring on both of the sides and it will be written as c to the power of 3 over 2 and its whole square is equal to 5 to the power of 3 over 2 and its whole square and now here we use the nice exponent law uh, you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this exponent law you know that if you have exponent to the exponent then these two exponents are multiplied by each other uh, so according to this uh, exponent law here we multiply these two exponents and it will be written as c to the power of 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 is equals to 5 to the power of 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 and now here further we need uh, some simplifications you see here this 2 and 2 are gone and we get uh, c cubed is equals to here in the right hand side this 2 and this 2 are also gone and we get here 5 cubed now you see here uh, after little bit simplification uh, our given equation will becomes into the cubic form and uh, now here we will apply the cubic formula uh, for uh, solve this problem for the values of c now first we move this 5 cubed from right hand side to the left hand side and it will become c cubed minus 5 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here we use the cubic formula uh, you know about this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of uh, a square plus a b plus b square so according to this cubic formula you see here in the above equation and uh, the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so here our a is c and b is 5 and now we need to put these two values of a and b in the right hand side of uh, uh, this nice formula so when we put these two values of a and b here it will be written as first you have a minus b the value of a is c minus the value of b is 5 into uh, here we have a square here our a is c when we put it here it will become c square plus a b the value of a is c and b is 5 plus b square and the value of b is 5 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as c minus 5 times of c square plus here you have uh, 5c plus uh, this 5 square equals to 25 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases uh, the first case is we write c minus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we write c square plus 5c plus 25 equals to 0 and now from first case uh, we easily get the value of c is equals to 5 so this is the our first real solution of the given equation and now here uh, in order to find the other solutions we need uh, to solve this quadratic equation uh, and this is quadratic in variable c uh, so here we apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation so uh, for this first we need to write the coefficients of this equation uh, and its coefficients are uh, capital A is equals to 1, capital B is equals to 5 and capital C is equals to 25 and we state the quadratic formula as uh, minus B plus minus square root of B square minus 4 times of AC divided by 2 times of A. This is the our quadratic formula and now we put these 
uh, all these values of a b and c in this formula and it will be written as uh, first uh, this is b and the value of b is 5 so it will becomes minus 5 plus minus square root of b square so b is 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 25 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so now here in the next step we need more simplification and it will be written as c is equals to this is minus 5 plus minus square root of 5 square and this 5 square equals to 25 minus 4 times of 25 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and now here further in the next step uh, we need uh, more simplifications here and uh, uh, it will be written as c is equals to this is minus 5 plus minus uh, so here inside the square root we take common 25 and we get the remaining values are here we get 1 minus here we get 4 and it is divided by 2 so now here uh, uh, we need to break this square root and we apply this square root on both of these values it will be written as square root of 25 into this is 1 minus 4 equals to square root of minus 3 and it is divided by 2 and now further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as minus 5 plus minus this is a square root of 25 and a square root of 25 is equals to 5 and here we know that when a negative sign appears inside the square root uh, so it will becomes iota so we can replace this uh, minus square root equals to iota and it is divided by 2 and now here uh, finally we break this fraction and it will be written as a minus 5 over 2 plus minus 5 into square root of 3 divided by 2 into iota so finally we have the three roots uh, of the given equation are the first root is c1 equals to uh, 5 and second root is c2 equals to minus 5 over 2 plus minus 5 times of a square root of 3 divided by 2 into iota and c3 is equals to minus 5 over 2 uh, so here we can write the positive value okay and here we write the negative value it is minus 5 over 2 minus 5 times square root of 3 over 2 into iota so these are the final three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos